Good morning guys. Well, it's actually good afternoon. Good afternoon guys. Welcome back to the Buchanan family. Today it is Monday. Not quite Monday morning. It's just gone like 12 o'clock so it's kind of Monday morning. But welcome back. Today is a very special, special day for the Buchanan family. We are actually starting back our school year today. As you guys don't know, the kids are home educated so they don't go to school. I am responsible for all of their education at home. Um, so the kids started back today. Sky has already got her work done. She is super efficient and she works pretty much on her own whereas the boys kind of need me. So this morning I was up at six in the morning and whenever I say six in the morning, I always want to say six in the morning. Where is that from? Can anybody tell me please in the comments, where is that from? But anyway, I was up at six in the morning doing my editing and then I was working out. I'm finally ready because I take forever. I procrastinate, I am terrible at doing stuff. And now I'm gonna make the kids lunch and I'm gonna get the boys school work done. Did you say Hello? lunch? Lunch, I did say lunch, yes. Our school year is actually kind of going to be a little different this year. Not so much our school year, but if you guys watched our last vlog or a couple of vlogs ago, Sky actually got like promoted, bumped up squads in her swimming. She swims for a swimming club and she's moving squads. So the times and the days and are just totally, totally different. So instead of being at like seven o'clock at night, it's now at four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> instead of being at seven o'clock at night, it's now at five o'clock at night. So I don't know how people manage that. Like if they're working, obviously I'm not working, I'm at home with the kids. But if you're working, I don't know how you would do that because a lot of people like haven't even finished their work by that time. So how could they get into Glasgow for that time of night? I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, it is right smack bang at dinner time. That is normally when the kids eat because Sky, as I said, she used to do seven o'clock. You need to leave from where we live about an hour in advance to get there so you know if she started at seven we would generally leave about six so we would eat dinner at five and then when Sky would come back she would get supper because obviously she'd be hungry again but now the times are different so she starts at five so we need to leave this house at four o'clock today which is quite early because you have to be there a bit before it actually starts you have to give yourself time to get changed and you need to be poolside which means by the side of the pool like 10-15 minutes before you start there's also traffic so generally we'll leave about an hour so we're gonna have to leave at four o'clock today so we and Thomas were talking about what are we going to do with the kids what we're going to do for dinners so we have decided on the Monday Tuesday Wednesday when Sky trains at five o'clock we are going to well I am going to give the kids their dinner food at lunchtime so today they're having chili and rice which would have been what they would have ate for dinner today and then what we'll do is I'll make packed lunches and take the packed lunches with us and the kids will eat their packed lunches as dinner if that makes any sense so I'm going to heat up the chili because I actually made the chili before so I'm going to heat it up and boil some rice for them and I'm going to give them that for their lunch and then we're going to get started on the boys' school work. I feel like I've got so much to do. My kitchen is also a mess. I want to bake banana muffins with them as well. And we need to leave in like four hours to go swimming. So I need to get a move on. <laughs> Welcome back to the world's longest intro, like 10 minutes later and I'm still here. You've got this little picture. We'll show it to everybody and it has a tree on it and an apples. And this little boy, he is called Johnny Apple. <laughs> and what you're going to do is you're going to take these dice and you're going to roll them and look at his empty apple what you're going to do is when you roll your dice so say you roll it and can you count up how many dots are there can you count them up one two three four five six Six, and then keep counting. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So how many apple seeds does this apple need, do you think? Ten. It's ten, yeah. So here is your apple seeds. Apples. Are you actually yeah. apple seeds? No. And you have to put ten onto your apple. Okay. So you count out Do ten one. apple seeds. Two. Three. Four, five, six, 
seven, eight. Nine. Nine. What's after nine? Ten. Yay! Ten. Well done! So you did ten, which was the same number that was on the dice. Then you can take the seeds off. Good boy. Like a bush. <laughs> and then you can roll the dice again and see what you get this time. I'm going to leave the corner and choose our head and play to watch the jaws. A big cat's long tail helps it to balance when it jumps. You're a great big sister, Sky. <laughs> so Sky is reading to our Gail about what's your book called, Sky? Um, Lions versus tigers. Lions versus tigers. And Oban, do you want to see how fast he can go, Sky? This is how fast yeah. you were talking. You were talking about how One, fast a two, lion can go in three seconds. Watch this no, boy. Whoa! How fast was that? That was amazing, Oban. Oh, she's so fast! I can't even get you on my camera. <laughs> so I've got some good news, kind of good news. Um, Daddy is going to be home in time to take you swimming, so we don't need to go swimming, boys. But we can still do our work and whatever else we're oh, going to do. Hi, pants. <gasps> Would you no. like to do some? Oh, so honey, you gotta go to swimming oh, and enjoy yeah. your new night, your yeah. first night in your new squad. Thomas is going to be home, guys, and he is going to take Sky swimming. So, Gail and Oban, how about when Sky is at swimming and we have finished school work, more school work, because I might do lots of school work? Would you guys like to make muffins? <gasps> I'm so sad. Would you like to make muffins? Do you want? It's all right, Sky. I won't eat them. You can make cakes with me on holiday. You wanted to talk to them, Oban. What did you want to say to our friends? Um. Uh, I bought my I hurt myself. You hurt yourself, my poor baby. What have you got? What's that? Who's on your plaster? Pluto. Pluto! Because who's going to Disneyland? Me? Well, Disney World. Yeah, this boy's going to Disney World. I'm going to. And I, like Mickey I guess Mouse. I should take you two too. I like yeah. Mickey Mouse. Do you like Mickey Mouse? Mm -hmm. Are you going to see him? Because you can. And he'll be dressed up in his Christmas outfit. <gasps> so he will. Maybe dress up in his Christmas outfit. <laughs> I just fainted. Who are you looking forward to, Sky and a girl? Who are you looking forward to seeing when we go to Disney? Minnie. Minnie. Goofy. Because her Halloween costume looked amazing, especially. The I know. I know it's going to be and exciting. I love ears. We're going next year, guys. You guys. If you don't know, we are going to Florida for how poppy you're scratching stuff. You're chicken popper. How long? She can't. How long are we going to Florida for? Does anyone know? Three weeks. Normally people go for like two weeks, but we're going for three weeks. And we're going at the end of October into November. And it's going to be so good. How much is three weeks? 21 days, Argyle. That's a long time, isn't it? You get to sit in it for eight hours. That's the sad bit. But the good bit is you get to watch TV and all that. Three hours? Three Are you eight looking hours? forward to it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring a toy. I'll bring a toy. You'll bring a toy? I think you'll need to bring lots of toys. And, lots and your of iPad. And yeah. we're going to get a car when we go phone. there. You can bring your phone. We're going to get a car because we have to drive about. We're going to go. I'm looking forward to going to American Taco Bell, Chick fil A, oh. Gatorland, yeah. World's Biggest McDonald's. Yes. Obviously, I'm looking forward to going to Disney and stuff, but there are the things I'm looking forward to going to that's not Disney. Yeah, because Disney. It's a bit of Marvin. I'm looking forward to going to the water parks and we oh, can yeah. chill out at the water parks all day. Are you like excited, Sir Gail? Gail, are you okay? But it's a huge wave. Yeah, giant, giant, giant wave. I'm going to get up. Do you? Yeah. What if you get swept away? Because it's so much bigger than the waves at Centre Parks. So much bigger. Oh, um, see? For uh, those big waves, I'm getting all the chickens and some. Yeah, water. that's good thinking, Argyle. Nothing wrong with that. I didn't realise we didn't have any eggs, guys. So we can't make mm -hmm. banana muffins without eggs, can we? Because no. you need eggs to make cake mix. So the kids instead are going to play Teach Your Monster to Read. But for some reason, it's not loading. Because it, oh, there's the button that says click to use flash. Use. There we go, Argyle. Teach Your Monster oh, to that Read. Was loud. You boys can play Teach Your Monster to Read, okay? Mm -hmm. Do you know what to do? Yeah. Yes. Is this you? Yes. Oh, I like your little horns. They're nice. 
Sky is back from swimming, guys. She enjoyed. Did you enjoy the first night in your new squad? Um, or was it too hard to enjoy? It was really hard. Really hard. Oh, it's your baby. Oh, it's your pretty caterpillar. Oh, don't, don't oh. Do that. That was, so <laughs> that was the weirdest weird. thing ever. We watched that on America's Got Talent the other day, Never guys. Watch it this guy was so like weird. in a sleeping bag, but he was a caterpillar. It, it was weird, wasn't it, Sky? But anyway, yeah. So was it hard training tonight? Do you think it was hard because your coach made you do a lot, or do you think it was hard because you've just not been swimming in a while because it it's lot. been the holidays? It was a lot. It's been a lot, but that's fine because you've been away out for the holidays and stuff. You'll have not fell behind, but you know everybody will be in the same position. You've not swam for like a month, so <laughs> your body's not used to swimming, and you lose some of your muscle and your stamina and stuff. So, but you'll be back up before you know it, and mm -hmm. still he'll be pushing you hard. But this is what happens when you swim with the big fishes. Thank Pretty you. caterpillar! So thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in our other video. Bye guys!